we do see that it's keyed. It's even marked well about for assembly which one's white and black. And just all the grit, it's just why it's so hard to, to put in gear. So we'll clean all that up. I'm going to clean all this up and I'll be right back. So one thing I wanted to show before we got through cleaning this up, I just thought it was very, very odd. The design they did here, the way this cam lobe or lever pushes on this switch. They're catching them. The small ones and the, the larger outside ones are catching on the corner of these switches. If you can see this, see where it's hewing into the switch on the corners. There, there, right here and here. You can see that. And if you look, this cam is designed to catch at a weird angle like that. I don't know why they would not have had it hitting in the center of the switch and pushing. That's just the way that that was designed to hit. <laughs> Wouldn't have thought that. So I have cleaned the parts up really well with some alcohol. And I'm just going to add a little bit of Teflon the food grade uh, grease to cut back on some of the friction. It really has some grooves in it. So we'll see if that'll help some when we reassemble it. The notch lines up. So I think it's better to be in high speed and have the switches turn like so. It goes right on with no resistance that way. Everything goes on good. So the way I, I'm showing it here is um, with this being in high speed being down and this turned up, we'll rock this one up and this one down on the white, the way it assembles here. And that way it goes together with no, um, no pressure. And we'll put the screws in it. So now after um, cleaning it up and adding a little bit of the PTFE lube, look at there. I know you can't tell on video very well, but I was scared it was going to break the handle. It was so hard to shift. So I think that's going to be a lot better, especially when it's mounted solid. I'm doing it with one finger, so probably the way it was when it was new. I'm probably going to add a little bit more lube when I install it. So we also have videos on the foot pedal switch replacement for this carriage. I'm going to try to do one for the speed controller as well as try to come up with a wiring diagram for troubleshooting. So please stay tuned for those videos as well. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.